Okay. 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 Realm First, 85 Warlock, 80 Rogue, Obsidian Slayer, Conqueror of Nexramas, Celestial Defender, Death's Demise, Grand Crusader. Oh my god, you guys don't even know that. Look, look at this. Look how many money this is. Look at that. $1,587. That is insane. You have been summoned to answer the call of the greatest competition in all of the game. Not Arena. Not the race to World First. But making sure that your character looks cool. Because that's what matters in video games. You're all here. This is the first Alliance Transmount competition. So gentlemen, get ready, get set up, and let's get to fucking work. Steam's Guardian of Scenarius from the Guild The Bear Cave. What the fuck? The Tiller's Tabard? That's the 7th Legion? bird dick belt those daggers right there what what is that is that alcor sunraiser house ren dagger what the fuck is this corrupted gladiators pauldrons with this face mask deadly gladiators helmet i don't know man i like the transmog a lot don't worry the mount will carry well let's find out This is pretty, pretty good. I mean, what do you guys think? I, I, I like it. I think that, uh, I, I like the face mask with the, um, I think the face mask with this type of amount actually really fits together the best. And that's why I like it a lot. Hides the bird dick belt. Yeah, but that's probably a good thing. The bird dick belt is a little bit awkward, but overall riding on Bruce, I think is a really good choice. All right. No spikes on shoulders for the mount. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, Bruce... Like, I don't really see a lot of people using this mount, and I think that I should because it's just a cool-looking mount. But uh, I guess people don't really like using it a whole lot, man. It fits surprisingly well. Yeah, it does fit surprisingly well. Uh, I like this a lot. Bruce goes crazy. Yeah, he's a wild animal. What do you expect? He's a six-legged crocodile. So, yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, I do feel like you probably should use, like, more shoulder pads with spikes like this on him so it matches with the rest of your armor. But overall, I think this is a decent attempt, and... um. I'm not, uh, I'm not completely against it. Yeah, I'm not completely against it. Interior crocodile alligator? Yeah, exactly. Randoran the Uncorrupted. Okay. I was gonna make a really bad joke. But I won't. What I will say... Is the transmog's not that good? All right, uh, it, it's it's not that fucking good. Now, Randoran, I cannot imagine any mount in the entire world that will make this transmog less of a joke than it already is. He's basically a mecha gnome with the fucking BlizzCon helmet on, with the TCG tabard, wearing a fucking diaper. Hit it. Let's see it. What? That's good. Uh, what? What? This oh my god. This is actually good. I, I, I don't I can't even believe it. This is fucking great. Nunu from League of Legends? I don't know what the fuck Nunu is. See, this guy starts panicking, man. He's getting on his mount. He's like, bro, I gotta change this, man. I gotta step it up. Like, this uh, Asmund's not gonna like this, man. Like, listen, man. Randoran, listen. I, I didn't... My expectations were low, and this was really, really good. Like, almost anything would have impressed me, but everybody in the chat almost liked this one, too. So, look up Nunu. Holy shit! Oh my god. Wow. So this is actually a fucking... Oh my god. Look at it. It's the same damn thing. 
Dude, that's impressive, man. I, I am genuinely impressed by this. Good fucking job, bro. Like, I, I didn't expect it to be this good. All right, listen, Randoran, this fits really well together. It looks good. And, and it's an example of less is more. Less sometimes is more. And the weapon, weapon's just some random ass, uh, random ass sword. It doesn't really matter. Good job, Randoran. I like this a lot. I'm proud of you. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Get that thing out of the way. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, what sword is this? Uh, what sword is this? Um, let me read it. Let me read the name. Sword of Marsh Tide Watch. I see. I, I still don't fucking know where that sword's from. Uh, regardless, this is a pretty, uh, pretty basic, basic Gilnean transmog. Basic ass Gilnean transmog. It is a little bit of a furry thing. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. But it's not anything that I really get excited about. There's no piece, no pieces of gear here that really are exciting to me. They're just random ass pieces of blue gear, and I'm not really. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really give too much of a fuck about it. So let's go ahead. We'll see the mount. But my expectations, again, are pretty low. All right, let's go. All right. All right, okay. So this is a pretty good mount. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, fits really well. And uh, everything about it, I think really just looks, uh, it really ties it all together, you know what I mean? And I would say that, yeah, I mean, the transmog does look good. And uh, I don't want to take anything away from that. I think the gloves right there, are, I, I think, I believe from Cataclysm 5 bands, uh, a lot of these pieces I don't even really recognize, which is kind of impressive in itself. But uh, I like this a lot. Good job, Orphy. Good job. Just like a very, very basic Gilnean transmog. Uh, new member. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she must be part of the Twitch council. <laughs> okay, all right, next one. Brawler. Brawler Celestiosis. <clears throat> now, what's the best part of this set? The best part of this set is very clearly and obviously the chest piece. All right, the swords right there come from the, uh, I think that's the world boss in, uh, uh, in Nashjatar. The gloves and the helmet there are the Cataclysmic Gladiator normal mode gloves and helmet. Uh, the belt there comes from more of the Draenor PvP. The boots also come from more of the Draenor. And then, I don't know, man. Like, I like this as kind of a badass, like, savage transmog. Yeah, it's a badass, savage transmog. Now, obviously, he's got to come in here with a really, really good mount. And I don't know what he could pick that's really going to look good. But this is some fucking Conan the Barbarian shit. And, and I like that a lot. Okay, let's go. Wrong belt? I like the belt. I've always liked that belt. Hmm. Hmm. So I agree with your choice of a wolf. But in my opinion, this is my opinion... I think the Kolkron Warwolf that was awarded for killing Garrosh Hellscream before Warwood's Draenor came out is not a very good wolf. I don't think it's supposed to be Savage. Yeah, but there's like a hundred other wolves in the game. Like Warwood's Draenor, they brought out like 50 of these, right? Look at this. So you've got like all of these. You've got that one right there. That one would look really badass. Uh, that one, dude, imagine being on this wolf right there. Like this, this wolf. Let, let's just compare, okay? So if you were on this wolf, it would match... Wait a second. Uh, it would match your armor, and it would look a thousand times better. The Garn Steel Moth. It wouldn't match? Yeah, I think it would It would match better, right? Uh, I don't know. Do you guys really like it? No? You guys don't think so? No? So you guys really think this is the best wolf? In my opinion, I think that it's not. It doesn't match at all. His choice was right. I don't think so? Well, I'm glad that you uh, that you have an opinion about this. And you know what? I respect that. It's not what I would choose, but you know what? It's what you would choose, and it does look pretty badass. I really like the chest piece. I like the helmet. Uh, I'm only 12? Shut the fuck up. No, you're not only 12. Like, let me see your... What, what, what's here? Compare achievements. You've got... Uh, uh, what the fuck do you mean you're only 12 years old? Give me a fucking break. 
events what so you're you played wow since uh since wrath of the witch king which means that that was fucking how many years ago uh i guess like 2012 so you've been playing wow ever since you were um what like four years old or something is that right no wait like kata yeah you've been playing wow since you're four years old okay so we've got a lying andy here all right listen celestiosis my dad helped me a lot i'm sure he did hopefully he'll help you with spelling um listen this is decent. Not my choice of, of amount, but I think that it's okay. Good job. Good fucking job. I'm actually gonna look. That's the blood, uh, that's like the blood, whatever the fuck, chest piece, right? Blood weight breastplate. I really like that. How do you have. So, how does this work? A blood weight chest piece. Let me actually see what that looks like. Because I might make a transmog off of that too. Uh, I really like this, and I actually have the elite set too. Uh, blood weight. So I could use that too. That's fucking badass. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. All right. Good job, Celestiosis. Good job. Let's go to the next one. The Honorable Gangsta. The Honorable Gangsta. There's too much going on, man. Siege of Orgrimmar belt for monks right there. The shoulders there. I think that's one of the PvP shoulders for rogues. The helmet there is a benthic helmet. And the tabard is the Wrathful Gladiator's tabard. Tabard, excuse me. And uh, I think the gloves there, where are those fucking gloves from? I'm not even sure. Where's the weapon? Ooh. Those are the Burning Crusade ones, I, I think. Where are these from again? Uh, Sunblade. Yeah, I think that's Burning Crusade, but I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, gangsta. This is a pretty mediocre set. What do you guys think? Wad challenge mode? Really? That's wad challenge mode? Holy shit. I never saw anybody use those. Damn. Yeah, I've never seen that. Wow. Okay. Gangsta. Hit it. I think there's too much going on with this set. Like, too many different themes. Primarily, the belt's a little bit wrong. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I feel like the belt's a bit wrong. Yep. Yep. There it is. Okay. So, he's riding on the cock. He's riding on the big brown cock. And you know what, gangster? This fits you perfectly. This is a beautiful mount. Look at that. That's a love story right there in itself. I love this. Now, obviously, the helmet right there and the shoulders and the belt don't really fit that well together. But I do really like the weapons. Yeah, that's way too detailed. Wow. I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. Yeah, it's way too detailed for uh, fucking uh, for BC. Regardless, Gangsta, this looks pretty fucking good, dude. I, I originally thought it was kind of shitty. But now that I look at it more closely, I'm much more positive about it. Yeah, it looks good. Big brown cock, that's right. Opulent, the Herald of the Titans from the Guild, the Paper Bar Brigade. So that staff right there is just one of the Kiltiris staffs, not really a big deal. Shoulders of the Wild Heart, shoulders, leggings there, I think, come from... Uh, isn't the shoulders, or sorry, the chest and the legs from Tier 11? No, it's not. Where are they from? I, I always forget where these are from, but because I need to figure that out, because I, I feel like these match really, really well. Uh, Trial of the Crusader? Yeah, I th is it Trial of the Crusader? Okay, so I was right about that then. Good. Okay, so this is a pretty decent looking transmog, but it is relatively basic. If you guys... I don't know. I, I feel like it's relatively basic. So let's go ahead. We're going to move back a little bit, and we're going to see what kind of mount this guy wants to get on to, uh, to show off. All right, check the cloak. Pretty good cloak. All right. Ooh, Holly! Oh, wait, all right, you know what? Uh, I just, I don't like the staff. I feel like the staff, like, you're wearing a big, it's a big fucking anchor. Like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me to wear a big fucking anchor as a staff. Uh, especially if you're riding around on this. Yeah, trash, trash, yeah, uh, but I'm, tr yeah, trash is trash, but I'm trash. Well, it's good that you have a high opinion of yourself. I'm glad about that. Yeah, staff doesn't match at all. Uh, the mount is relatively good, but the only thing the mount really matches with is your shoulders. Everything else besides that is, like, really kind of shitty. 
So you've got to do a much better job, Opulent. Uh, this is a average at best set, and the mount doesn't make it really better or worse because there's really no uh, no defined theme to begin with. So better luck next time, Opulent. All right, let's go to the next one here. Davy Feet, the faceless one from the guild, the Ashen Phoenix. What the fuck? The fuck? This is so dumb, dude. This is fucking bad, man. Davy, I want you to understand something, okay? Out of over 500 people, you were one of the people who was randomly selected to be part of this transmog competition. And the best thing that you could come up with was a scuffed 90s action figure that looks like an archer that's in the background of where the important characters are at. Only started an EP? Well, you know what? Let's assume that you only started transmog right now. Don't have that much time for mog? All right, well, let's see how much time you have for a mount. Imagine starting WoW in Eternal Palace. He's been playing a lot. Okay, so that's the Royal Snapdragon. That's from the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Wayblade and Cohen uh, supply bag. I really, really, really like the mount, okay? Now, at, at a very, very close glance, it's very clear that the mount coloration and his armor coloration does not match at all. So I want to make sure that's very clear. Now, on top of that, I do think that this is basically a BFA transmog. I mean, if somebody just started BFA and they don't really know a lot of the other stuff and the old items in the game. Wait, no, what? It matches? I, well, actually, let me see what it looks like on my stream. Oh, okay. It does match for you guys, but on my screen, it looks a little bit different because I have an After Effect filter on my, uh, on my WoW that darkens the colors. But on mine, it looks slightly, uh, slightly more different, I guess. Sure? No, no, I, I literally have an After Effect. I've talked about it a couple of days ago. Like, I, I have an After Effect on my, uh, my WoW to make it, the colors more vibrant. And it, it increases the contrast. But, uh, these two colors obviously look more, uh, more closely similar on OBS than they do on my screen. So I think for you guys, you probably do think it's pretty close together. Okay, um... Let's see. Remove it then? I don't want to remove it right now. Um, okay, let's see. I don't even know how to remove it, honestly. What do you guys think? I feel like even... Alright, best case scenario, that let's assume that the colors perfectly match. Let's assume the colors perfectly match. The legs and everything besides the helmet and the shoulders don't really look that good. This is a decent looking set, and I think that one thing that we can all agree on is that for somebody who just started the game in Eternal Palace, this is pretty damn good. Because most people who start the game nowadays are pretty fucking awful. And they're not good at transmog or anything else. So this guy just started the game, and he's coming in here for his first time, and he's getting roasted in front of 50,000 people. And you know what? Get fucking used to it. Because you're going to come in here again, and hopefully you're going to have a better set, and you won't get roasted quite as much. This is a good combo, but it could be a lot better. Let's go to the next one. 60k? Yeah, whatever. Alright, Dwarf Hunter. Revenant. Alright. Uh, I don't... I mean, guys, is this... Uh, this is maybe too much? Like, I don't know. I, I'm really... I, I'm really trying to give this an honest shot. I'm just deciding what's with all the gnomes? I don't know, bro. Like, I, I feel the same way. I just... The leg wrap, they're sorry, the, the gloves of the Eternal Traveler, the shoulders, which is a shaman tier set, the engineering gloves. Oh, the weapon from Mephagon, which is really cool and doesn't match anything else that you have. All right, and the boots from uh, Siege of Orgrimmar, and the belt there from, I think, uh, Mr. Pandaria Five Man Dungeons. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and see the mount. Get on your mount. This better be good. This mount has to blow me the fuck away. I'm colorblind? Really? I would have never expected that. Get on the mount. 
No, you're not. No, you're fucking not. You are but you're fucking with me. I know you're fucking with me. Like this is oh, okay. Alright. Uh Alright, so let's talk about positives with your set. Number one positive is your helmet and the weapon look great together. The mount looks great with your helmet and your weapon. Uh, all of those are basically Mechagon engineering uh, uh, type. This this cloak? Drape of the Deadly Foe from 25-man uh, fucking Kel'Thuzad and Naxxramas? You want to use that shit with your fucking engineering transmog? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Dwarf Hunter? What a stupid decision. What a stupid fucking decision. Kick him? I'm not going to kick him out, all right? But listen... Even if you're colorblind, you'd have to be completely blind to think that that would match at all. I'm sorry, man. Dwarf Hunter? Wait. You're not even a dwarf! What? Um, I, I don't know how that just slipped by me. Like, I just... I, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, you're right. He hunts dwarves. Ha ha. Real fucking cute. So he kills his own fucking teammates. I see how it is. All right. Usagi, servant of Inzoth from the guild Secretly Horde. Okay, so we got pretty much the same set that we saw earlier, but it's slightly different. So that's obviously the uh, Scythe of the Unmaker. We've seen that many times. And the red one, we've seen plenty of other people besides me get it. Shoulders there come from Antorus, I believe. No, that's actually the Tomb of Sargeras shoulders. And uh, those are the mythic versions, I think. Wait, are those Tomb of Sargeras? I think it's Tomb of Sargeras. And uh, chest piece and the legs right there come from TOC. And um, the boots there, I don't really know where those boots are from exactly. I think they're one of the new pairs, though. All right, and then the helmet comes from... Uh, the little moon on his head comes from Olduar. All right. Go ahead. All right, so let's look at this mount here. This is terrible. Uh, how are you going to have fucking... How are you going to have moose spirits coming out of your shoulders whenever you're riding on an undead horse? With a fucking space, like a, a space station scythe from uh, the Titan Argus. Like, how the fuck does any of that fit together? Oh, and you've got a moon on your head. Like, hey, a loon, look at me riding a dead horse. Hey, look at me looking Argus, looking at Argus, the Titan of Death scythe. Give me a fucking break, Usagi. This is terrible. There is no theme at all with this transmog. This is awful. It's a dog shit. Even a loon would call you an idiot. Yeah, exactly. This is terrible, guys. This is an awful, terrible, bad set. Usagi, you need to do a lot better, man. But we'll see what happens. All right, next one. Estimator the Chosen from the guild Knights Who Say Ye. Estimator and I go way back. We killed Heroic Glitch King together back in Wrath. Helmet right there is the helmet of the Voracious Maw that comes from uh, Elis Resort in Firelands. Their shoulders there are the, and also shoulders, gloves, and boots there all come, and the belt, all come from the uh, heroic uh, dragon, no, uh, Nighthold set for, uh, Nighthold set for, fuck, what is it from? Uh, for DKs, and then the chest piece and the legs there are one of the DK PvP sets from, uh, actually, no, it might not be DK PvP. Say hi to my son. Hi. Okay, and then the weapons are again the uh, swords from Flamebender Kagraz, and that's the heroic version because it's green. He was full set transmog, but nice with him. Yeah. Look, man. I mean, they can't all be winners. You gotta teach them better, Estivator. All right, let's see the uh, let's see them out, buddy. Let's see them out. Madden Chaos Runner. Okay. From uh, Rangor Cabarnos and Makari. Uh, that's actually pretty fucking good. Uh, I, I like this. It actually looks pretty damn good. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Opinions? Uh, I, I like it. I, I genuinely think this comes together really well and it looks good. As fair as a nice combo there? Yeah, I'd say so too. I think he's got a great combo. This looks awesome. Uh, good fucking job, dude. Now, obviously the armor is something that we've seen a number of times before. But I do like your take on it, and I do really like that helmet a lot. I'd like to find a better transmog to match with that helmet myself, actually. So yeah, this is pretty decent, man. Helm is shit. I like the helmet a lot, personally. But regardless, good job, Estimator. Next one. Rogan! We need to do Heroic Lich King, can Aspen? Yeah, we will whenever the uh, Wrath of the Lich King fucking legacy comes out. 
Um, Rogan the Explorer. So I love this set. I want to say right now, I love this set. I think that sword, sorry, the uh, sword, that bow right there comes from Moro's Draenor Challenge Modes. And then this uh, tabard right there is the uh, Guardians of Hydro Tabard from uh, Cataclysm. And then all the rest of the pieces are just random. He's Robin Hood, but he's like the jungle version of Robin Hood. So if this guy comes on here with a good mount, this guy could actually be a genuine fucking winner if he comes on here with a good fucking mount. All right. Rogan? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. All right. So let's talk about positives and negatives with this. Number one positive is that it's funny. Uh, it's a really, really well put together transmog. And I think with all the skulls on the rat, it does fit together pretty well. But I do think that the rat is not really that great of a fit with the set in terms of the color theme, but it's more of a fit in terms of the, uh, uh, the like aesthetic of the set, right? Like the uh, idea of it, like kind of like being a hunter. And so he has like a giant rat that he rides on. So get out, yo, get out here with that store mount shit, okay? Let's see that anymore. Listen, uh, rats in the jungle? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I I'm kind of split on it. And I feel like this isn't what, this, this doesn't blow me away. I want to say that right now. This does not blow me away. This is good, but it doesn't like, I don't see it and think, oh man, this is amazing. I love it. Was he going for a jungle theme? Yeah, he clearly was. It's, it's all right, though. I really, really like your transmog a lot, though. Dipolicious the Dreamer from the guild Thought. Oh, sorry. I was dreaming. Were you dreaming? What the fuck? God damn. Uh, so those swords right there, the one-handed sword that drops from Shah of Fear and uh, Eternal, uh, sorry, Terrace of the Eternal Spring. Chess piece there is the, uh, I think that's the chess piece from Nylotha. And I really like what he did here with the shoulders and the chess piece here. Uh, I love that. And that's the Deadly Gladiator's face mask. I like that a lot too. And uh, that tabard there is from the, um, uh, what was it? What are they called? Fucking Argusian Reach. Yeah, I think that's from the Argusian Reach Tavern. Uh, and then the belt there is just one of the uh, the new basic belts, I, I think. Actually, I'm not even really sure about what that's from. Um, anyway, let's see the mount. This has got to be really, really good. Stop, man. Stop. Okay. I was having a corrupted nightmare. All right, with the lucid nightmare. Okay. Um, RPS Pog. Yeah, I think this is pretty damn good. What do you guys think? It fits the corruption. Uh, the armor on it fits with what he's doing. I think this is really, really well done and put together. This is actually really good. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is there anybody who uh, does I, mean, I guess there's people who don't like it everywhere. But, like, overall, I think this is pretty nice, man. And uh, using the corruption effect is very clever, too. So good fucking job. Uh, yeah, looks really, really good. I, I think the chest piece and the uh, and the ball, the shoulder balls, do the best part, in my opinion. What is this? Time Lord Zuzi. This is really good. This is really good. What the fuck? Holy shit! God damn. So these are the one-handed sword that you get from I think it's like the Paragon of Argus achievement or something like that. And uh, the tabard there is, of course, the tabard of the Light Forward. The shoulders and the belt there, and the well, the boots are actually from uh, Trial of Valor. I don't even know where the shoulders and the belt are from. Uh, is that the Primal Gladiator gear? Or sorry, uh, Corrupted Gladiator gear? Yeah, it's Corrupted Aspirant gear. Oh, excuse me. Corrupted Aspirant gear. And the grips of the Chosen Dead. I didn't even tell that was what it was. Um, Seventh Legionnaire's Buckle. This is really good. Uh, I think what really makes this set good is the helmet, though. Like, the helmet is what really ties it together. Uh, I like this set a lot. And then even, oh, this is the old deer cloak. That looks good, too. This cloak is really hard to get. It's only from world bosses. All right. Let's see the mount, Zuzi. This could be really good. What? Oh! 
No, no, no. She's the bronze dragonfly. Time Lord. Okay. So let's. Can you go back? Go back to the original one? Yeah, it's a Time Lord. Sands of Time, Time Lord. Yeah. And that's the. Uh, so she literally turned into the dragon. Okay. So I think that because we look at this theme and we clearly think of the, uh, you know, the armies of the light, the Argus, you know, factions and stuff like that, everybody looks at that and they see very clearly and they never even think, even though the color theme is the same, they never even think of the bronze dragon flight. And I do feel like to an extent, the army of the light tabard might take it in that direction too much for the mount to make sense. What do you guys think? Yeah, that, that, what, what do you guys think? Should we go with the chest, not the tabard then? Yeah, I, I think that was what, that's what really kind of threw me off with this. But regardless, I think it's a really, really good one. And it's again an RP there. I think this one fits better then. You gonna do this to me? Is this what's really gonna happen to me? I gotta, I gotta deal with this stupid ass fucking bullshit every goddamn day. Is this it? God damn, Zuzi. You're fucking with me all day. All right, give me a second. I have to take a drink. Zuzi, this is actually a really good looking set. I like your set a lot. The mount is a little bit, uh, it's hit and miss. Hmm. All right, let's look at the next one. Snow Snowden, the, sne the, the sneaker from the guild, the wild card. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys ever done this? Have you actually ever just taken your character and control clicked what your character would actually look like without your transmog on? And just seen like what, what it would be. Because this is what I would look like without any transmog. I would look like a complete and utter fucking fool. I would look like a goddamn idiot. And I feel like this is what that guy did except for it was his actual gear. Like, he basically went with a transmog set that's so bad that it's not even a transmog set. This is one of the worst sets that I've ever seen. That's the, uh, so just for, for the items and everything like that, that's a, uh, a monk shoulders right there. Uh, the staff there, or sorry, the weapon there, I don't know where, the, all right, let's just get on it. No, no, mummified raptor. Uh, this sucks, right? Yeah, does this suck? Cosmic Sniper. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not having it, man. Yeah, kick him? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, the thing is that you've got like this, if these were the same color, your set would actually be really cool. But the problem is like you have this green and blue thing going on, and it doesn't really fit together very well. So the helmet and the boots right there come from Siege of Orgamar, and that's a really, really cool looking set. Is it Siege? I think it's Siege. Uh, regardless, it's a really cool looking set, and so are the legs. I think that's the chosen dead legs. But... I just don't feel like it looks that great. Um, RGB blue? What, what do you mean by that? I mean, this is clearly two very, very different colors. He's an RGB LFR version, I think. Yeah, it's the green one. Listen, this guy does look like a Christmas tree. But you know what? It's May. So you lose. Let's go to the next one. Zyzy. All right. Okay, so we've got ourselves a really, really old school transmog. Got the helmet right there from, uh, what is this? What's this guy jumping around? It's annoying. Um, okay. Uh, we've got the helmet right there from Black Temple. The shoulders, I think those are from just Vanilla WoW. Same with the leggings as well. That shield, obviously, Draconian Deflector from, uh, yeah, yeah. Draconian Deflector from, uh, UBRS. Uh, uh Tabard there is from the Tabard of the Shattered Sun from the Isle of Quildonis. And the axe right there is from, uh, that's from a five-man Burning Crusade dungeon. Uh, I forgot which one specifically. It might be Manitoums, but I could be wrong. It could also be Botanica. Uh, Breaching Comet. Yeah, I don't really remember. Okay. Zyzy. Let's see the fucking mount. Hmm. Hmm. So the weapon matches with the mount. And, and like nothing else matched with the weapon except for the mount. And now that the weapon matches with the mount, that's pretty good. This ain't it. 
I feel like there's too much of a difference in like colorations. Uh, you guys are kind of right with that. Uh, which one is this? Summon Great Exarch Zelic? I don't know, guys. Like, it's almost really good, but I feel like whenever you're using one of these like really old school transmogs, it's very hard to find a mount that actually looks good because so much of it is like just super low res and it's hard to really kind of get. Uh, black armor versus purple and grayish mount. Yeah, I don't think it's that great. Basic black pony would have been better. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? It's like you have like this very, very basic adventurer transmog, okay? You're like trying to find a group to tank normal Mechagon so you can get a chance at a Sun Eater. And then you've got this other shit going on too. And it's just a little bit too much for me, man. Uh, I'd say it's just a little bit too much. Uh, the mount is too big. It's too extravagant, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's my opinion. Let's go to the next one. ZSP famed slayer of it. What? What? Oh my god! Oh my god, you guys don't even know that. Look, look at this. Look at this. Just a minute, let me pull this up. Look how many money this is. Look at that. $1,587. This is fucking insane, dude. Like, this shit is expensive as hell. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is a big fucking deal. Uh, I'm not gonna look on eBay or anything like that. This is an extremely rare pet. Uh, many people don't have this. It's a super rare thing that where whenever you actually see it at all, that's impressive just by itself. So the weapon is obviously Zalatath, and then all the rest of the pieces of gear are tier 5, sorry, tier 3. That's the Plague Heart uh, set from Nax Ramus, and uh, Tabard there is TCG. And the helmet is from Tomb of Sargeras. So I really think this is an interesting choice. I'm a priest, by the way. I know that because you're using the Shadow Priest Artifact weapon. Um, so what do you guys think about this? I mean, it is basically a full set minus one item, right? I, I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of boring. Uh, Warlock wannabe, low effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say too, it's basically a full set, but let's go ahead and let's see the mount. ZSP, let's see the mount. I really like the helmet combo. Uh, I like that a lot though. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I don't even. Wow. Fucking scarab lord with fame slayer, anterior. Almost thirty thousand achievement points. What the fuck? Realm First 85 Warlock, 80 Rogue, Obsidian Slayer, Conqueror of Nexramas, Celestial Defender, Death's Demise, Grand Crusader. Holy fucking shit. And he has more. Holy fuck! Oh my fucking god! Fierce, ferocious, fearless, vindictive, warmongering, wild gladiator, primal gladiator, prideful gladiator, grievous gladiator, tyrannical gladiator, malevolent gladiator, uh, cataclysmic, ruthless, vicious, wrathful, relentless, furious, deadly, brutal, vengeful, swift, and merciful. Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! This is every fucking season, except for like, except for actually the most recent two, except for the most recent two seasons. Man, look at Fandy. Can I have that guy's number? Imagine how bad and how sad this is that this guy broke his streak of getting glad every fucking season for this. Look at this guy. This guy's a fuck. Wait, and he bought the mount. He bought the long boy on day one. He even got Memoron's head before me. Holy shit. This guy's a god. PvP 95? Oh my god. Warmongering Gladiator? Prideful Gladiator? Grievous Gladiator? Tyrannical Gladiator? 
three, four heroes of the... This guy plays the fucking game. Agent of Shindor, a hero of Shatrath? Veteran of the Shifting Sand? Well, I guess, yeah, obviously he is. Put... What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? That is insane. That is fucking crazy, man. Jesus, dude. God damn. What the fuck? Only 315 days on this character. What about all of your other characters? Like, if you had to guess, uh, what's your closest estimation of, like, what your slash plate is on your account? Maybe a thousand plus? Maybe? Yeah, I think that's pretty much a fucking fact. This is probably one of the most impressive accounts I've ever seen. This is fucking insane. Jesus Christ. A thousand fucking days slash void. What's mine? Uh, 1400. Okay, yeah, this guy's a god. Like, this is actually fucking impressive. Check if he has Atiyash. Uh, I don't think that he does. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure he doesn't. Feats of strength. Uh, yeah, I think it would say if he did, right? Uh, is it like, is it collection? Reputation? Um, I have a hundred and, yeah, yeah, that's fair. You play all the fucking time. Yeah, where is it? Legacy? Uh, where is it? Where do, where do I find that? Dread Seed of Zoroth, Proof of Demise, uh, Rock the Lar. Uh, I, I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Where is the, uh, where's the sword? It's not there. Uh, raids, uh, feats of strength and then raids. Oh, it's in raids. Okay. Let me see. Jesus. Oh, he has tribute. He has tribute to immortality. He's got tribute to fucking immortality. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. That is, that is insane. What the fuck, dude? Uh, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. That's a gamer right there. Uh, Inquisitor Lavanda from the Guild Ruination. Helm right there comes from Tomb of Sargeras. Uh, for Paladins, that's blue. That means it's a Cruel Gladiator offset version. Shoulders there come from Emerald Nightmare. The chest piece and also the uh, legs. I still think the belt right there. Both of those, I think, come from the Tier 14 Paladin set. Uh, the gloves, the legs, the boots there all come from the Trial of the Crusader. And uh, let's see, Cloak also comes from either Alakir or Trial of the Crusader. Uh, and then the shield and the weapon come from Morrid's Draenor Blacksmithing. This is... Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, what, what, do, what do you guys think about this? Uh, it's a Karen set? Yeah, it's basically a Karen set, but it looks good. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it. Alright, Lavanda, let's see the mount. Come on. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about this one, man. I I really I don't know about this one. It does match because it has the blue on the, the gems with his crowned helmet. So I like that a lot. I feel like he does have a number of matching items here, and the matching items that he does have look very good together. Okay? Like, some guy in chat said, 62,000 retards watching the king of retards. What the fuck, man? I'm glad you could make it. You'll fit right in. 
Okay, listen, uh, I do think that the mount does match pretty well, but the problem is the mount's really bright and like your armor's really kind of dark and it's just like kind of weird. Um, I, I barely play this game. Yeah, that's okay. Um, just take some notes from ZSP over there and uh, you'll, you'll be just fine. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is okay, I'd say, but it's nothing that's like ridiculously crazy. Like, it's all right. I don't know. I, I don't think it's that amazing. It's just like an average paladin transmog. That's really all there is to it. Just an average paladin transmog. Tough act to follow? Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, Corporal Lich Shield from the Guild Madness. Pause champ. Dan's game. Okay. Sorry, buddy. This is dog shit. You know why it's dog shit? It's because of your fucking belt. Look at that belt. What the fuck is that belt? Get off this stupid ass shit. You know what? This is actually almost better. Uh, look at that dumbass, busted ass belt. That's a dog shit ass belt. That's the wrong belt. That's a 100% the wrong belt. This weapon right here, what weapon is this? This is the fucking Shadowlands pre-order weapon illusion enchant with the, st the pole arm. It's like Hellraiser or some kind of bullshit like that that drops from the last boss in uh, Ramparts. And shoulders there are obviously from, uh, let's just look through all this, right? So he's got the shoulders right there from uh, uh, Throne of Thunder. The belt is from, I don't know, Vanilla WoW probably. Chest piece and the legs both come from the uh, Warrior Nighthold set. And then the gloves there come from the Eternal Travelers and also the boots of the uh, Warrior Nighthold set as well. And uh, the tabard of the Armies of the Light. So this is pretty fucking bad. Uh, I think the weapons don't match at all. But we could have a really, really good weapon here. Or sorry, a really good mount here that could make the weapons look good. What are you doing, stupid? What are you doing over there, stupid ass motherfucker? What are you doing? Are you messing with me? Trying to try and get, get, get attention on people's turns? Quit messing up everybody's turns. What's your fucking turn? You already got your turn. Go take your Adderall. Actually, go go take your Ritalin. Even better. All right, Lich, let's go. Get on your mount. Yeah, go take your fucking Ritalin. Wow. Wow. Uh, this actually is. That's really good. Like, straight up, that's actually really, really good. Please, man, like, stop. Like... Imagine if everybody did that. Just let, let people have their turn, okay, man? Uh, this is incredible. The fact that the mount matches with the weapon, uh, the weapon illusion is really impressive to me. Now, obviously, the transmog on a fundamental level, I think, is really lacking. Uh, I don't think the transmog looks that good at all. But, um, other than that... Uh, I do think that everything else about it does look really, really nice. And this is a trans mount contest. And because it's a trans mount contest, I want to give this person uh, a, a large amount of acknowledgement for how much effort they put in here. Uh, this actually does look really fucking good, uh, especially be uh, uh, besides that, right? What do you guys think? Kick this Berg? No, we're not going to kick him out, right? I mean, like, it's just that the reason I don't like people doing that a whole lot, like every once in a while is okay. But, like, the reason I don't like people doing it a whole lot is because, like, everybody has, like, their own turn on the stream, right? And they get their chance. And then whenever somebody else gets in there and they interrupt that, that sucks for that person. You know, it's not fair to them. So, um, overall, your mount matches really, really well with your set. It's the best mount that I think that you could possibly chosen. I really like it a lot. But I think that your transmog just being mediocre is probably going to take you a little bit too far away from winning. But other than that, it does look good. All right, let's go over here. Mochasa, the Argent Champion from the Guild Comrades. So we've got a pretty basic looking transmog here. Those shoulders obviously come from Antorus. The belt there is one of the monk sets. The swords there come from the Battered Hill questline. And the tabard is from, uh, I don't even know where that tabard's from, actually. Uh, I forgot where it is. Uh, let's see. Silver Covenant tabard. Okay, there we go. I haven't seen that in probably 10 years. So yeah, this is a decent looking set, Mochasa. All right. Let's see your set. Or see your mount. This could be good. 
Sergeant Warhorse? Fuck. Yes, dude! Holy shit, this is really nice. Wow. Uh, I, I, I am genuinely impressed by this. Like, very rarely do I see a set that actually looks and matches so well with the mount. This is such a unique, different color theme to go with, and the fact that you had an entire set, and even your model itself, the character itself, with, like, the blue hair and, like, the pale skin, matches this mount so well. Uh, I really think this is great. Only the tabard matches? No, the hair matches, the, the shoulders match, uh, the legs match, the belt matches, uh, and, and the character itself matches, too. The weapons don't really match. You're right about that. But everything besides that looks really, really good. This is incredible. What do you guys think about this? Everybody's positive about it, right? Uh, weapons are off? Yeah, the weapons are off. You're right about that. But I, I usually allow that if everything else works really well together. Because sometimes the weapons being off is kind of a personal choice. I think this is really fucking good, Mochasa. Great fucking job with this set. I like it a lot. Level 13 dungeon? No, man. This is from fucking uh, Wrath of the Lich King content, and this horse here comes from, I think, Stormsong Valley or something. Uh, I forgot really which one this one's from, but it's like the Exalted Mount from Stormsong, I believe, Valley. Yeah, Dapple Grey. Yeah, there you go. Great job, Mochasa. This is probably one of the best ones I've seen so far. Great fucking job. Scar uh, Tab Scarlet Crusade Tabard, their stories right there come from Mythic uh, Siege of Orgrimmar for Paladins, the gloves, and also, yeah, just the gloves come from the Mythic Paladin set from Firelands, or Heroic Firelands set for Paladins. The helmet, obviously, is a Judgment Helmet. The belt there comes from the uh, Class Order Hall for Paladins. The legs and the boots come from Questing and uh, uh, Broken Isles, and then the sword there is from the, uh, I think that's obviously Ashbringer, and based off the appearance, it's the Balance of Power Ashbringer, and this cloak right here is the uh, Vicious Gladiator's Cloak. All right, traditional Paladin transmog that, uh, you know, we haven't had a lot of Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Crusader transmogs that have been used in a long time. So uh, let's go ahead and see what the rest of Balance of Power. Oh, I, wait, what did I say? It's not Balance of Power? It's not? I thought it was. Which one is it then? For Paladins? Class Order Hall? Oh, it's the Class Campaign. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, the, the balance power one is like the weird, like, uh, glowy one, isn't it? Uh, I forgot. Anyway, uh, Owl Cred, let's see the mount. Asses of Alar. Hmm. Okay. Can we just be honest here? This is basic as shit. This is basic as fuck, dude. Like, we've seen these so many goddamn times, man. I'm just sick of looking at them. I'm sick of fucking looking at them. Listen, man, this is a basic... Like, you put in no... This is no original effort. Like, how many other paladins do you think you've seen that look just like this? We've seen too many of them, man, and I'm sorry. I know that you're working hard, I know you're trying to come up with a good set, but I'm sorry, dude. This isn't good enough. You've got to keep working on it. Arkred, better luck next time. Wow. Chat spam boosted lol W. You're 2k. Like, you're, you're 2k! Like, what do you mean, boosted? Like, the, you're 2k! Are you kidding me? Okay, alright, let's look at the set. This is the full, uh, what is that, heroic? Uh, not heroic, uh, full elite, full gladiator set with Tachelak and that tabby right there is the, um, I was higher. Like, 400, 4, uh, 4,020? Jeez, dude, you're crazy! Let me see here. Okay, player versus player. Let's look at his arena achievements. Okay. He recently got Duelist. I got Duelist literally a decade before you. But I'm the boosted one. Mm-hmm. Okay.
I see how it is. Yeah, literally a decade before you. All right. Yeah, I, I got boosted a year ago. Is that it? Yeah. All right. So this transmog is not a transmog, really. It's a full fucking set. So let's see the mount. Why don't you get on a gladiator mount? Just get on a gladiator mount, Gerber. I got a really good mount, though. Okay. All right. Let's see it. <coughs> Done. All right. Damn, that's crazy. Um... I forgot what season that gladiator mount came out on. Uh, wrong one. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got another. Look. Look. Uh, look. Okay. All right. Here's the. Here's. Oh, okay. All right. Fuck not again. Wait, what do you mean not again? Okay, one more. Come on. It's just. Oh, God. Oh, no. What is this? Is this what you're trying to flex on me with? This dog shit ass mount that I got on the first day it came out. I had this mount. Like, this is what a... Ah, this is sad, dude. G Garober, you should rename yourself to Goober. This is embarrassing. My actual mount? Yeah, why don't you come up with an actual transmog and you might have an actual chance. Listen, dude. It's just not that good. It's just not that good, man. You gotta come up with the actual set next time, alright? Uh, better luck next time. My friend calls me Goober, actually. I guess he probably does arena with you. Okay. Uh, Inquisitor Mustard Mage from the Guild Redundant Idiocracy. Oh, okay. Alright, that's good. Let's see what we've got here. Now, obviously, a lot of these pieces do fit together really well. He's a very, very small gnome, and so you guys have to keep that in mind. It's hard to really see what all of his little pieces come together to look like. But overall, I think that it looks good. I like it. What do you guys think about the transmog here? Uh, I like it. Opinions? Thoughts? What do you guys think? Mm. 7 out of 10. Cutie. Dope. Don't like the staff. Yeah, I like this a lot, man. Uh, I do. Let's go ahead and uh, let, let's see the uh, let's see the mount. This could be a, a contender if he has a really good mount. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dude. It's just like, eh, you know what I mean? It, it's just, you know, like, it, it's not, it, it's all right. You know, I, I think that's all there is to say. It's slightly off. It's not slightly off. It's off. It's just not, it's just not that good. Like, that's all that all it really comes down to. It's just simply not that good. Now, I understand you're trying. And I just want to let you know, do you have this title, though? Bound by Honor? I don't know, do I? Uh, yeah, I, I do, actually. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, uh, I, I guess so. Uh, do you have this one? Do you have this? Do you have Grand Marshal? Okay, uh, anyway. So this set's, uh, it, it's pretty good. Uh, the mount's not really that, uh, that great in terms of the theme that matches. Obviously, it's a color theme, okay? Stop, he's already dead. No, he's not. He's not in arena yet. Listen, I, I, all right, all right. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I gotta stop talking about talking shit about this guy. Okay, listen. Uh, this is a decent looking set, but you do need to probably work a little bit on uh, on having something that actually matches the theme and not just the uh, uh, the transmog color for uh, for in general, right? All right, let's go to the next one. Here. All right, so he's got pretty much. So this is what you like to call. It would have been better if it was a full set. So what he did here is he took the Brutal Gladiator gear, he took the Brutal Gladiator's gloves and the belt and the boots. Uh, amazing. Listen, bro. Your set is so bad. You know, I'm not going to look at uh, This is just the same stupid ass shit, okay, guys? I'm sorry to say. Like, this is just, aw it's awful. Um, everything about this is dog shit. Uh, the weapon right there obviously comes from, uh, I think, Heroic Blast Furnace and uh, Black Rock Foundry. Shoulders, chest piece, legs, and, uh, yeah, shoulders, chest piece, and legs all come from the, uh, I think that is from Hellfire Citadel Mythic, and, uh, all the rest of the pieces are from Season 4. All right, let's see the mount. Hit the mount. Hit the mount. Swing and a miss. It's too big. Actually? Wait. Alright, I'll let you guys just 
think about this think about the situation that we're in right now okay the colors are perfect the colors match together get the fuck out of here idiot okay does asmon stink no i don't um i, I smell great take a piss sorry about that so yeah obviously the mount of course he's overcompensating he's three feet tall uh, overall i think this does look pretty good uh, I mean, in terms of using the core hound, that's obviously the core hound, the blacksmithing one that you're able to get from Legion. Uh, I like this a lot. Did you wash your hands? No. I didn't wash my hands. I've got a clean dick. So listen, it's all right, but it's not really that amazing. I, I don't really know if it's enough to really be like a unique mog because you've got pretty much all the same pieces except for like... I don't know, just like a few like offset pieces don't really matter a whole lot. Yeah, I, I, I did say it. So yeah, all right, that, that's decent at least. Uh, Laralation, good try. Look at the next one. Predator Crease. Thank you for your judgment, Asmongold, of course. Uh, from the Guild, the Great Adventurer. All right, so let's see what we've got here. So those leggings right there come from Battle of the Tsar Lore. The helmet there is one of the new helmets that just came out this patch. I don't know which one it is specifically. This weapon here is one of the, uh, I think that's a mace. It's like Shug. I don't know how to fucking pronounce these names, these items here. But it's from, uh, obviously it's from either PvP or from Nylotha. And um, the belt is just completely wrong. The belt is completely, it's out of place entirely. So this has got to be a really, really nice looking mount. Let, let's go. I was helping you get hurt soccer today. I know you were. That's why you got invited. All right, let's see the, uh, let's see the mount, dude. Damn! Damn, bro! Damn, bro! That's some good shit! Oh my god, I like this a lot! What do you guys think? This is a really, really well put together set. Uh, everything about this looks good, it all matches, and the colors are good. Everything is good. Obviously, the belt is a, it's a problem. I would say the belt's a problem. But overall, I think this is really well put together. Yeah, this is great! Uh, check the side of the mount. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me do that. Yeah, and then even this is the Blood Gorge Krog, which means because it has the uh, the the purple here instead of the white. It's white. It's got it's the uh, underwrought one. Um, yeah, this is really really well done. Like I, I was originally gonna like roll this one off or like write this one off, but this is really really well done. Good job, Cressy. Great fucking job, Cressy. Proud of you. Belt matches. You guys think the belt matches? Well, regardless, everything else matches so well together. I'm going to overlook the belt. Belt matches the side. Oh, wait! The belt. Oh, my God! Look at this! Okay. 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 All right. Let's go to the next one. All right. Uh, Aragon, the crazy cat lady from the guild Nelf Master Race. Okay, so I think that a lot of people in chat are probably going to like this one a lot. Uh, that's some of the Legion pieces, I think, as well as the helmet, too. And uh, what weapon do we have going on here? Um, okay, a little fucking wand with some other little bullshit. I don't know what the hell this is. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys think? You guys like this transmog a lot? Yeah, what, what do you guys think? I, I think this looks pretty damn good. Yeah, it looks good. It's a Night Elf set. Yes, it is a Night Elf set. This is a new version of, like, one of the old-school Night Elf sets. All right, let's see the mount. Go. Do it. This is good. Um. <sighs> wow. Uh. This is good. It's so predictable? Well, yeah, because it's a basic set, and you know, like, what the theme is. Uh, being predictable isn't fundamentally bad. Uh, I, I like this a lot. I think this is very well put together. Um, obviously, the transmog isn't, like... The reason why I like the transmog is it reminds you of, like, the old-school Night Elves who are basically wearing chainmail bikinis. But it's a new armor set, and so it actually looks much more updated. I think the helmet also fits really well together. And the, the mount is, like, kind of average, right? It's not really that amazing or that bad. It's just pretty much what you would expect. 
So I'd say it's a girl from the trailer of classic. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like she had purple hair, but this one has gray hair, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, regardless, it's pretty much the same model. Uh, I, I like it a lot. You can't have double standards versus her, the typical paladin guy. No, this isn't a double standard. So what I mean by this is that, so you can go with an original paladin theme. So this is an original night elf theme, but the original paladin theme, it's the difference between taking an original theme and an, un and an original set of gear. So she has an original set of gear, or sorry, a unique set of gear that accomplishes an original theme, whereas the Paladin had an, orig an unoriginal theme with also unoriginal gear. That's the difference, okay? Like, trust me, there's a reason why I'm, uh, I I I'm rating these, okay, guys? Uh, Nightclaw, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, of course, of course. All right, yeah, good fucking job. Hi, Nikki, love you, bae. Okay, it's good. Clipton the Hollowed from the Guild Land Party. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, um, uh, what what do I even say about this? What do I even, I I, I kind of like it. It's got some of the old war uh, old war hunter gear on. Those gloves there come from Antorus. Like, what is this, man? Uh, it, it, it's pretty crazy. All right, what's his weapon? Oh, shit, he's got the axe from Warlords of Draenor. Okay, you know what? This actually could look really good. What is going on here? What are you doing? What are we doing here, boys? What are you doing fucking around? Quit fucking around. All right. Yeah, this looks really, really good. I don't think the ma the weapon is really that great, but everything besides the weapon is good. All right, let's see the mount. Come on, you can do it. Nope. Uh... Oh. Hmm. So the reason why I don't like the core hounds is because the character models on them is too small. But this character model is really big, and so in terms of its size, it works well. But I I don't really know if I like it. Uh, I feel like the colors are pretty much there. What do you guys think? Colors don't match. Pandas can't ride horses. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, I think the colors match relatively well, but uh, I'm thinking. Bad helmet. I, I don't know, guys. Hmm. Uh, no theme them all? Yeah. It's not really that amazing. Uh, let's see. The theme doesn't work? Yeah. I, I don't really think this is particularly amazing, man. And, uh, match as well? Uh, wrong item? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's kind of silly to me. I, I think it kind of sucks. Um, I like the color theme, though. I think the color theme does work pretty well, though. Uh, good job. My mods are gods, by the way. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Um, so yeah, uh, this looks great, and, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next one. But I do think the color theme and everything about this does look great. Good fucking job, boys. Okay, we'll go to the next one here. Dragon Saber famed conqueror of Dazara lore, with a tier 11 DK helmet, heroic, with the chest piece as well, with the leggings and boots as well, with the belt right there from, um, what is that? Uh, this is my Doomer set while playing Blood and Fire from my Type O negative. <laughs> yeah, this does look pretty fucking badass. What do you guys think, man? Yeah, what, what, what do you guys think, man? Uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, I think that the, uh, the, the boots that are on there with, like, all the steam coming out of it looks good. The Corruption set looks good, too. The Normal Mode Firelands Warrior Gloves looks good. Uh, I just like this in general. Uh, yeah, and even the sword, the twin sword, the Tasha Life looks really great too. Okay, this could be a contender if this guy's gonna come in here with a big dick mount. Now you're out, you're seeing. I hope this works with it. All right, let's see it, dude. All right. All right, dude. Unlike goobers, yeah. Yeah, listen, he's gonna do his best, all right? 
Okay, listen. This is really, really good. I, I like it a lot, Dragon. This is badass. What do you guys think? Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, this is some fucking, like, yeah, it's almost like a Dark Souls boss or something like that. Yeah, it fits really well together. Everything is good. Uh, what are the shoulders? Those shoulders right there, they could be two different pair of shoulders. Uh, I think they're the Time Warden shoulders from the Chromie scenario. Yeah, Time Warden's pauldrons from the Chromie scenario. So, uh, yeah, that does look really, really good. Great job, Dragon. This is actually fucking badass. It's really, really cool. Reminds me almost, obviously, is like, you know, kind of the Nameless King, but it's like a different theme. Just like a badass fucking guy on a mount. Okay, Nightcaller. So, this is like your traditional DK transmog. Alright, so he's got the starting weapon right there, the belt, the chest piece, and the gloves right there from the Heroic Trial of Hour set, the shoulders there from the Primal Gladiator offset for Warriors, the te chest and also the helmet there from the starter gear, and then the, uh, let's see, that's pretty much about it. Alright, let's see the, um, let's see the mount. Ah. Ironbound Proto Drake from Gory of the Old War Raider. Um, who do I want to have? Cressy, you're a good player. If you see anybody that's using these little toys, tell me what their name is and I'll kick them out of the raid. So just look around for people that are, uh, that are trying to do the animation. Yeah, tell me who they are. If you guys see anybody else doing shit, uh, yeah, I'll kick them out of the raid. You're the designated snitch. All right, Nightcore, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, um, you guys like it or not? Uh, let's see, nice hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's okay. Like, the colors are alright, but, like, it doesn't really match that well. I mean, in terms of other people that have picked a much better mount, I don't really think this is gonna get into the top five. But, uh, it's alright. Parkway Iron Bane. Wow. Holy shit! Damn, guys! What the fuck? This is really good. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Um, sorry, Tarkoy. Uh, so you've got the shoulders and the belt right there. Uh, that's from the Emerald Nightmare set. And I don't even know where these other pieces are from. Is this the 7th Legion set? Uh, I don't even know. Windrunner's Tunic of Conquest. That's from, uh, that's from fucking Trial of the Crusader. And what, uh, and the gloves are too. Oh my god. Yeah, this is really impressive. And truly a long rifle. Alright, alright, let's see the mount. Uh, I like this a lot. It fits together really well. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. This is a this is like literally. You didn't just swing and miss. You swung, and then you took the bat, and you hit yourself in the head. That's what you did. It wasn't just a, temp a simple miss. You actually caused harm to your chances. It was awful, man. Do it yourself. Yeah, it's bad. Tarkoy, listen. The set is fucking awesome. But you've got to pick some better mounts, man. The set is great, but yeah, the mount is just, it's not that good at all. Outmatches the shoulders. I don't think that it does. It's just not that great. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh oh, Wall Wath, Hero of the Czar Lore from the guild Indestructible. Great guild, I hear. Uh, let's see. The shoulders right there from uh, I think that's like heroic or normal mode. Uh, Blackrock Foundry for shamans. The weapons are also from uh, I think one of the it's from Hands and Friends and Blackrock Foundry. The kilt there is that tier two kilt? I don't even know. It's hard for me really to say. Netherstorm leg guards. I don't even know where the fuck that's from. Uh, regardless, this looks really, really good. So obviously a Dark Iron Dwarf. I really like the, uh, the red that comes out of his eyes and his beard, and how it contrasts with the blue. The Ice Stick Belt, we love that. And, uh, let's see what the mount is. It's from Netherstorm? Okay. Hmm. Vitreous Stone Drake. What do you guys think? I mean, he's got kind of, he's obviously a shaman, and he's like a, I, I don't know, like a a stone mancer or something like that. I, I like it, man. Blue OG, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate that. I, I mean, it, the texture clash, yeah, it is really, how are the guild help me out with this? I mean, help you out with it. It's easy. Like, you just go do it. Regardless, um, 
I, I think that your transmog looks really, really good, but the texturing on the mount doesn't really fit very well with your armor. And because of that, I don't really think that this is really a very good trans mount combination. Yeah, just go get the mount. It's easy. Uh, listen, it's a decent looking set, but the mount just doesn't really work with it. I think you need to get a higher res mount that matches better. I don't really know what that is, but I know that it's not the Vitreous Stone Drake. I'll say that for sure. Just go get the Mail Muncher? Yeah, exactly. Just go get the Mail Muncher. You don't want to use that, by the way. Arc Druid Kinky Dinky. Okay, now we've finally gotten to him. Now you guys saw this fucking clown whenever I started doing the, uh... I started doing this, and here we are. We've got his, uh, his set and everything. Now, I don't... Dude. Like, okay, so he's using a lot of the, uh... Most of these pieces... Actually, this... Wait. You know what? These shoulders right there are from Emerald Nightmare, and they fit perfectly with all the 7th Legion gear. And then he's using the Glaive. Isn't that from the, uh... What was this from? Yeah, Sinister Gladiator. Yeah, this is from the Dark Shore Warfront. It's the offset version. This is actually pretty good. And the helmet, I think, matches really well together, too. Like, I hate to say it, but Kinky Dinky... I really think you've got a pretty good-looking set here. Uh, it's unique, needs a new helmet. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the helmet either, but um, I, I do think it's okay. Uh, Glaive is from Season 2 PvP. Uh, Sinister Gladiator. I, well, yeah, it's from, I think, it's a Dark Shore Warfront off-color, though. Uh, I do, I like it a lot, though. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and see the mount. Kinky Dinky, let's go. Get on it. Emerald Hippogriff? Is that it? It seems Emerald Hippogriff? Cloudwing Hippogriff. Okay. From the, uh, yeah, I got the colors wrong. Uh, Cloud, uh, Cloudwing Hippogriff from the Court of Ferrandis boxes. Uh, I just, it's not, it's trash. Like, yeah, a lot of you guys don't like this set. Okay, Kinky, here's what I want to say to you. I think that you've got a great, uh, a great thing going with your shoulders. And I'd say try to look at those shoulders and find some other pieces that fit together better because I'm not really a big fan of the rest of the items. But regardless of that, I don't think that your mount fits at all. Like, it's straight up just, it doesn't fucking fit. That's all there is to it. I will, thanks. But yeah, this is a pretty good looking set. And I really like the weapon too. This is not really that bad. It's not bird shit, okay? Alright, Inquisitor Leon. So this is Lightforge Drain Eye, obviously, because she's using pretty much uh, the leggings and the ch shoulders there from the uh, Lightforge Drain Eye questline, or uh, getting 110 on them. Oh, shit. Okay, with the uh, belt, that belt right there comes from Cataclysm Five Man Dungeons, and uh, that's a plate belt. Uh, the sword obviously comes from the Commander of Argus achievement, and uh, let's see, the boots there come from Legion Blacksmithing. Yeah, Legion Blacksmithing, I'm pretty sure. All right, this is a pretty decent looking transmog. I don't think it's really super extravagant or anything. It's just kind of, ah, it's just average. All right, let's see the mount. Go. Hmm. The Light Forge Drain I... I don't know, guys. I feel like... Okay, so it matches in terms of its theme. And this is a decent looking set, right? It works. It does work. But... I don't know, man. Like, I just don't really think it's that great. It's boring. I think that's really what it comes down to. It's fucking boring. Uh, this set is fucking boring. Uh, Inquisitor Wing, it's a Light Forge theme. Yeah, I think that it is. But it's kind of boring, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, so I, I understand that. I can respect some boring stuff. But with this in general, I just don't really think it's that amazing, okay? Yeah, yeah. It fits, but it's boring. Exactly. Okay, so let's go back over. And the belt, I think, is a little bit weird, but okay. Contos the, the, the Horde Breaker. Uh... Mm. Mythic Hellfire Citadel uh, shoulders, the Mythic Tomb of Sargeras uh, helmet there. I don't know, guys. I mean, the, the War Waves of Azanoth, I mean, guys, this is really not... It is really not that good. I, I mean, let's be real. Let's be real, it's really not that good. So, should have stayed human? Yeah, honestly, I think you look better as human. And, uh, wait, oh, yeah, you can't even fucking use those. You're not even, uh, you don't even have those. I don't even know why I raided you with the Wargraves on. You can't even use them. Okay, so, uh, 
All right, this has got to have to be a really good mount, man. All right, get on the mount. Let's go. Get on the mount. The Pander and Phoenix? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Kantos, listen, man. This is just, it's not... Oh. Kantos, listen. You try really hard, and I want to let you know that all of your trying has gone to no avail. This is an awful set. This is a really, really bad set. Everything about it is not good. I'm sorry for you, man. But you've got to try a lot harder. The helmet and the shoulders are kind of good, and everything else besides that is a disaster. He's logging off? Good. DPS, yo, down. Good day, sir. All right. So, uh, I... This is like a, a, a Gilnan transmog. So he's got like the chest piece and the legs, the pantaloons there. I think that's a Dark Moon Fair. The helmet from the Worgen Heritage Armor. The shoulders from the, I think that's the Antorus set for Druids. And this dagger here, I think, comes from, I don't know, somewhere in Burning Crusade, I believe. And overall, I think this actually does look really good. Like, it actually looks like kind of an NPC. The shoulders don't fit. I don't think the shoulders fit either. But let's see what he's going to do with the mount. And then we'll make a decision on the shoulders. Okay, get on the mount. Let's see it. DPS go down. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I think this might be the worst one. Couldn't get the smoky charger from the dress bar rep. Well, maybe you should go do that instead of sitting in transmog competitions getting ready to lose because you came in here with a dog shit ass mount. Listen, man. It's okay, but I don't think it's really amazing. Yeah, it's just, it, it's still better than Goobers. Yeah, but that's like, that's a brown standard, okay? Uh, it doesn't really matter. All right, a bunny mount would be better. Anything would be better. I really like the uh, the helmet there, the uh, the top hat with the chest piece and legs, but you need to work off of that and like get rid of these like weird shoulders. Uh, I don't think they fit really well. Jarnoff, the champion of the Frozen Waste, so the shoulders right there for Myth Against Horus for uh, Warriors, and also the gloves there for Normal Mode, Tomb of Sargeras for Warriors, with the boots in the same place. And let's see, where's the uh, T Duelers Guild Tabard? That belt right there just comes from Vanilla WoW. This sword is from, I don't know, a quest line in some random-ass fucking place. And then the shield there comes from Warlords of Draenor. All right, this looks like a pretty decent-looking set, but it does seem like he skipped leg day. Uh, it's very much a top-heavy set, which if you were a female, I'd be a fan of, but unfortunately, you're a male, so I'm not really, uh, I'm not really that into it. Uh, the weapon does look really cool. I think the weapon is probably the coolest part about this. Legs match the chest? Yeah, well, you can't see the chest because you have a tabard on. So, I, I don't know really what that's supposed to mean. Uh, fighter bronze sword. I really, really like the weapon. I think the weapon's the coolest thing in here. All right. Let's go. Okay, so this guy looks like a Northrend adventurer, okay? He's got the Champion of the Frozen Waste title on. He's obviously riding the horse that you're able to get from Drusfar uh, Exalted, uh, which is, of course... Uh, I mean, I know that you guys, it's hard for you to tell which horse is which, but this one is from Drusfar Exalted. The way that you can tell is because it's a horse. And uh, also it has the things on him. So besides that, I don't know. I feel like the mount doesn't really match your transmog very well. Unless you're going for something that's like a little bit more abstract, like just an adventurer in Northrend or something like that. In terms of your transmog, I do feel like the way you don't get a second chance. What are you now going to drain or get the fuck out of here with that garbage ass not Karash mount? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, are you gonna try a third one? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. The legs, I just I'm really not a fan of the legs because uh, these are like chainmail legs and everything else is like solid plate armor, and I don't really feel like the legs match very well with everything else. But the, the mount doesn't really look that good on it either. I think this is an average mount, but um, or an average set, but it's not really that great either. I think the coolest part about this is your sword. Uh, I don't know how you have that effect on your sword, but I really like it a lot. Uh, it has sunfire on it. Yeah, it, it like just blends in really, really well. This is probably the coolest part about it. All right, let's go to the next one.
Myra and the Purifier from the Guild Dramatic with the helmet right there. That's the Tier 2 Priest Transcendence Helmet that comes from Anixia. Those shoulders right there are the Tier 11 shoulders for Priests as well. The staff right there, I think, comes from some sort of little quest line over in, uh, I think, like, Eversong Woods. And then the chess piece is the same basic-ass chess piece that we've seen a hundred different fucking times with every single female that's trying to look like a, uh, uh, like a strong, empowered woman. Okay. The transmog looks okay, but I don't like how high-res the shoulders are and how low-res the chess piece is. Right? Uh, obviously, I think they need to do a much higher-res version of this chess piece. It's a very important thing Blizzard needs to focus on. But for now, obviously, we got to work with what we have. All right, let's see the mount. I, I mean, it looks like she's in the just chatting section and she's doing body painting. Let's be real. Oh, Lula. Uh, what is it? What's it called? What's, Daughter of Jade. What's it called? You lie, Daughter of Jade. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Uh, lie. Uh, I just... It's not... It's just kind of like, I don't know. I just don't think it's good. Like, I mean, the colors vaguely match. You have such a difference between like your chest piece and like your other items. This just looks okay. I, I think the most that I can say about this is that it's okay. A and that's really all there is to it. It doesn't match. Yeah, it's just, it's not, it doesn't really match the theme. The transcendent helm is kind of out of place. I don't know, Mirian. Uh, I think it could be a lot better. It's a it's a solid like five of uh, no, it's a four out of ten. Four, three or four out of ten. It's getting downgraded every time. Uh, all right. Fire Ward Dow Run from the game Stay at Home Dads. That's cool. I'm a stay at home dad too, except for I don't have uh I don't have any kids. So let's look at the items you've got. So shoulders, helmet, and gloves right there are all from the uh, Blackhawk Foundry Mythic set, of course. The chest piece, the legs and the boots are from the myth uh, heroic fireland set. The belt right there comes from uh let's see, what is that? Firelands, and that's the, uh, that's the new belt. I think that might be the PvP one, but it's the Nylotha offset belt, one way or another. And these swords right here are from Flamebender Kagraz. Because they're red, that means that they're mythic, and they come from her in Mythic Blackrock Foundry. So this is what you'd like to call Generic Fire Warrior number 33. Now, we've seen about 100 different versions of this, and I think this is actually trending towards the worst, uh, the worst on the spectrum. This one's really fucking terrible. The belt doesn't match at all. It doesn't fit with what you're trying to do. And the chest piece and the legs in there don't really make a whole lot of sense. I've seen some really good black hand transmogs, and I'm not looking at one right now. So let's go ahead and see your mount. It's not good. I like the mount. I actually, so that's the Dark Iron uh, Heritage mount. Uh, I like the mount. I genuinely think this is a good mount. And I never really see anybody use it, so I think that's really cool. But I don't know really if I like it with this transmog set. I think the transmog set is kind of mediocre. What do you guys think? Yeah, what, what do you guys think? Oh, God. Winner, yeah, you guys like it a lot. Okay, you know what? We've seen a lot of these warrior transmogs. I'm waiting to see another really good black hand transmog, but I don't think this one's really it. It's not original enough, but the mount does match pretty well with your uh, your Firelands armor. So I will give you credit for that, Dalran. At least your mount made your transmog and your uh, your entry better and not worse like the other two. All right, let's go to the next one. Spurg Lord, the Elite Druid. Okay. So that's the artifact weapon right there. Those shoulders there are from the, uh, and also the boots are from the Dark Shore Warfront. I think the uh, gloves are from Dark Shore Warfront as well. The leggings, are these the 7th Legion leggings? Let me go ahead and double check. I don't know where they are. Vine, Vine Britches, yeah, I don't know where the fuck those are from. Regardless, I think this is a decent transmog, but the boots are really bulky, man. It looks like she's wearing Uggs. Like, you know those like stupid, like big fucking boots that girls wear and think that they're cute? Uh, it reminds me a lot of that, man. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Let's see the mount. Okay, so this is obviously Priestess Moonsaver from 750 of the Commendations. This guy probably spent months and months of farming this, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, perfect. Yeah, I think this actually does look pretty good. She's obviously part of the, uh, she's an NPC in the Dark Shore Warfront. Uh, I think, like, the face mat, uh, the, the face, like, whatever the fuck it is on her face, looks pretty cool with, like, the Under Armor, and, uh, the shoulders match pretty well, too. What do you guys think about this one? I'm kind of curious. 7.5 out of 10? I think it's a little bit higher than a 7.5, okay? Yeah, it's a little bit higher. Uh, what do you guys think? 
mount makes it good. Yeah, I think the mount actually does tie it together a lot more than uh, what you usually like to see. So that's actually a good thing. Usually mounts make it worse, but this mount actually makes it better. So I like that a lot. Spurg Lord, this is a good looking set with a nice mount that fits together. And overall, I like it a lot. Good job, Spurg Lord. Thank God we actually got a good one. Weapons, the weak point? I don't know if it's the weak point, but it's not necessarily the strong point. Uh, good job, Spurg Lord. All right, tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. This is going to be a hard decision for me, guys. I don't know what I'm going to go with. Hmm. Hmm. I'm deciding. I'm making decisions. This is actually kind of hard for me to, to do. I don't really know what I want to go with. Um... Uh yes. Okay, guys, I need I need the opinions. Tell me what you think. Hmm. This is really hard for me to decide. Like I have two people for sure, but I don't know what my third is going to be. Which one do you guys like? What, what do you guys like here? Uh, okay. That's a good way to look at it. This is really kind of a hard decision for me to make. Because I feel like there's a few of them that are just really, really good. But I don't know if they're good enough to win. Like, they're, they're so, uh, like we've got a lot of sixes and sevens in here. But in my opinion, we only really have like maybe two nines and one eight. Ah, uh, shit. This is really hard for me to decide. All right, I'll go through it one more time. Go through it one more time. Made a poll, do I wink? Yeah, wink the poll. Wink the poll, Tavello. I'm going to let the people decide, and then I will make my decisions. Yeah, link the poll. Who you guys think is going to win? You guys can vote in the poll. Stop pandering in chat. Just pick. No, no, I, I'm not pandering. I just want to... Uh, I want to see what other people think. Okay. All right. The decision has been made. I have decided what is going to be the winner. We are not going to do a top five. We are going to do a top four. Or sorry, top three. Third place. Third place is going to go Third place is going to go to Dragon Saber Destroyer's End. I think this is a badass set. It's just fucking amazing. The transmog, uh, I think, works really well with the mount. And also the corruption effect uh, works really well with it, too. Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, we're going to give him third place. Uh, I like it a lot. Wait, rigged? What the hell do you guys mean it's rigged? So biased, bro. So obvious. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe it's because he came in here with a good set, dude. He came in here with a good set with a mount that matched. All right, rigged? Yes, yeah, shut the fuck up. You guys are just mad. You guys are just fucking mad. All right. So, Dragon, good job. Ignore chat. They don't fucking know anything, okay? Like, they probably don't even play WoW. They have no idea what any of this shit is. They're just watching. Oh, wow, what's this? Okay, I uh, rigged. Now everybody else is typing. I'll type it too. <laughs> Rig. Oh, fuck off. Second place. Second place. Of you guys. Yeah, Dragon, this is a bad, it's a badass set, man. It is a badass set. Second place. This is going to go to Mochasa, the Argent Champion. This is an incredible combination of a mount and also a transmog theme that fits in a great way. I'm obviously going to give this person second place, and I think that it's extremely clean and well put together. It's a theme that I've never seen before, and after doing so many of these competitions, that alone is something that impresses me. Good fucking job. Simp? Yeah, I know. It's because didn't even thought I would get in. Well, you did. And you got second place, Moshasa. 
Good job. Now, first place. First place. Kresge. This is the best set. In my opinion, I think this is far and away the strongest best set in here. The reason why I think this set is the best is because the mount and the transmog fit perfectly together. And on top of it, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with your dog, your dog shit ass. Man. That's pretty good, but this one's better. And I think what really sold it for me the moment that I saw this emblem right here, matching with that emblem right there, I knew that this is the winner. Like, Kresge obviously has the winning transmog right there. It is attention to detail like that that really separates the good from the best. This is an incredible set. I like it a lot. Now let's link the poll and let's see what the chat thought. Let's see what the chat thought. Nunu? The reason I didn't go with that is because it was just extremely simple. It was really only two pieces of gear. Uh, that's why. Alright, let me see what the, uh... There it is. Kresge, Dragon, wait, Rogan? ZSP? Man, y'all just vote for him because he had a lot of fucking mounts, man. Okay, so Rogan. This is the one person that a lot of people were, uh... They, they, they were not really sure... Shit, sorry. Uh, they were not sure why I didn't choose him. I think he's this guy over here, right? Yeah, so here's why I didn't choose Rogan. So basically, Rogan would have been number four, right? And uh, I like Rogan's transmog a lot. And the reason why I didn't choose him is because I thought that his mount didn't really fit with what the theme of his transmog was supposed to be. And as a transmount competition, I wanted to have somebody who had a mount that reinforced the theme of their character rather than just kind of worked against it. And I don't think that works either. So, uh, it's a giant fucking rat? Yes, I know that, but do you ever see a hunter on a giant fucking rat? He's obviously going with, like, a traditional hunter transmog. And how many hunters have you ever seen riding around on a tradition on a, on a giant fucking rat? It just doesn't really work that well. Uh, I don't think that it does. Green Proto would have worked better? Maybe it would have. But, uh, I didn't really think this was that great. D uh, Dipolicious also had a really great looking set. But overall, I think Rogan's set was really good. And if I did a top five, he would have made it into it. But in a top three, I think he was just slightly below it. Okay, that's really what it comes down to. It's a fantasy game, bro. I know that, but I don't think that the mount, in any real way, shape, or form, reinforces that it's a hunting transmog. It's no, there's nothing that's about that about the rat mount that that says hunter transmog. These other mounts here reinforced every single one of the sets in, in a very unique way. This one had a very unique color theme that fit together. This one had a very uh, also a very good uh, just armor theme as well. And Dragon Set had a very good color theme that it fit together with too. So for those reasons, I gave those I gave those placings. Okay.